Praise the Lord. Hello, welcome to today's Zoom meeting. Uh, today is going to be a very uh, beautiful service, especially as we have our bishop on stage with us. It's a privilege to have also Uncle Song Quote and Mrs. Song Quote. It's also a privilege to have Pastor Mrs. Boma Edet. It's a privilege to have you all. I can see my Auntie Vivian. You're all welcome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to go into the uh, event short immediately. Uh, if you have to lead us in opening prayer, are you set? Yes, I am. Okay, so you can go ahead. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to church, everyone. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Right. And he says we should give thanks to God in every situation. So we'll start by thanking God for this meeting for today. This is the day the Lord has got all the praise, all the glory for allowing us to make this meeting today. Keeping us alive. We thank you, Father, for your breath in our nostrils. We thank you, for Jesus, for keeping us, for saving us. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for giving us, keeping us alive. Kings, you're the Lord of Lords. We thank you, Lord. 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 Lord, we, we invite your presence, Lord Jesus. Sir. We invite your presence in our midst, O oh Father. Come and be with us. Come and lead us. Come and direct us in all things, O oh Lord Jesus. We lift up this meeting into your hands. We ask that your presence shall be with us, sir. Your presence shall be with us, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says the word of the Lord is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let's ask that as the Lord shall come for today, it shall give us direction. That is a bit darkness, confusion in our lives. His light shall shine through his word this evening. Let's begin to pray. Lord, we ask that your word shall give us light. It shall be a lamp, O oh Lord Jesus, a lamp unto our feet. We shall not have a light on the stone. It shall be a light to our path. Light to our path, O Lord. It shall Amen. give us direction. It shall clear up every confusion. Every conflict in our life shall be cleared up. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name. So lastly, lastly, we will just pray that the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. All of us came here with different expectations. We came with different and Lord, we ask that you shall meet us at the point of our needs, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, 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 we have met with you, Lord Jesus. Sir. Our life shall not be the same. Our life shall not be the same. Thank you, Heavenly Amen. Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was a powerful one. Thank you, Barista Ephraim is song. I can also see Pastor Janet Ogolo. You are welcome and see. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll go straight into praise and worship. 
Please, let's be excited as we worship God. Hallelujah. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus, celebrate. Celebrate, Jesus celebrates. I know he rescues my soul. His blood has conquered my sins. I believe, I believe. My shame is taken away. My pain is healed in his name. I believe. I believe. You can raise your banner. I raise my banner. But my Lord has conquered the grave. My redeemer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll go straight into worship. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high Jehovah. You are the most high God. Do something new. In our lives, something new in our lives, something new in our lives. Oh, 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 do something. New in a life, something new in a life, do something new in a life. Oh, oh Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to welcome Elder Isong Quartz. He is the one that God has used to set up this platform. He is the one that God has used for him to, you know, push for us to have CTCI UK today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we want to invite Hallelujah. him to, you know, give us a little briefing of what this meeting will be all about and why we are here today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, my Lord Bishop. <laughs> good evening, sir. Yeah. And good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. And mm -hmm. um, if uh, you have a camera and uh, you like to turn it on, it will be very, very good because I'm going to do a very uh, quick introduction to the bishop to know those who are here from this end. I screwed up. That's what's going on. If, if your camera is, if you, you have a, a functional camera, yeah, you can turn it on so that I can quickly introduce uh, the people from this end. So I have about. Um, we raised three specific areas that the bishop will address for us in prayer before he ministers. We have very limited time, so we are very time conscious. So the uh, first aspects 
going to be the trustees to formally introduce the trustees to the bishop and ask the bishop to pray for the trustees. That's the first aspect. So I will have to do that uh, first and foremost. And um, I'm one of the trustees by God's grace and to the glory of God. And Ekaite is um, a second trustee. And uh, Pastor uh, Boma, where are you? Just uh, do like that. Yeah, yeah. So another trustee and uh, Grace Laviodun. That's my daughter, Grace. Can you do that? Yeah, Grace. Can you do that? Yeah, Grace and the husband are together. So Bishop, that's Grace, and that's uh, Andrew, the husband. So they are here. So the there there are four <laughs> there are four trustees. So the first thing that I will uh, crave the indulgence of the bishop to do first to be introduced to these trustees to pray for them. That's number one. But before you do that, uh, Grace Equat, Mrs. Equat is at the background. Where's your camera? Just say hello to the bishop and the pastor Charles, Grace's husband, is there. So can you just say hello to the bishop? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister G, Great. your camera is not working. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> right, right. So, Bishop, I have about three or four tasks. This is the first one. So, if I break here and allow you to come in, that would be very good. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you. I'm just imagining how God can use people to, to bring visions to come to pass. Uh, it is, it is uh, true that, uh, like Jesus told Paul, it's, I have people in every city. Uh, I can see uh, through the instrumentalities of the trustees, uh, we are preaching the gospel to, through via, uh, uh, I wanted to say Skype, Zoom, <laughs> to the whole world. Uh, I, I, I pray, I hope you know my prayer is very simple but powerful. I pray for the trustees that whatever vision also they have been struggling to bring to pass, God through men and women will bring them to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, I pray for their families that uh, any struggling or difficulty or stress, whether it's financial or spiritual, or medical, anybody under stress, under pain, under tears, or anything that's made you afraid or worried by hearing this voice, which the Lord has anointed, I declare that your burden is lifted and your tears are wiped away in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless all of us. Over to you, Engineer Ed Ison. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, my bishop. The second aspect of what I need to do also involves prayer. So it's going to be four elements of prayer that are uh, going to uh, be from me to you and to the people. Right. So the next aspect is um, um, the ministry had been registered and uh, has a bank account. So it's a functional ministry. And uh, because it's first time we're meeting and on this platform, I'd like you to formally dedicate the mission field, just pray for it. And um, although not, we're just starting today, but just pray for uh, me. Okay. Uh, the Bible says, do not despise the days of small beginning. I'm just imagining the day Jesus and 12 disciples were sitting by the Sea of Galilee. I'm just watching the people pass and laughing at them, what's going on. And of course, 2,000 years along the line, <laughs> the entire libraries of the world cannot contain the power of that Jesus and his disciples. So therefore today, let this be like a seed sown, let it germinate, let it, out, let it bring forth revival, let it be what God has been waiting for and what man has been waiting for. I dedicate, and pray for even the accounts, uh, the mission fields, everyone will have burden for souls and every soul we, we receive to the kingdom 
to be a, a point of contact for the world. The world is going through a very serious moment now of the coronavirus. None of you will be affected. None of you will be infected through this medium, through this Amen. ministry, through this ministry, the power of God will touch our generation and other churches and other ministries will, will counter this grace and we will go faster in the work of the Lord. None of us will die young. None of us will see share. Amen. Dedicate the ministry, the trustees, the registration, and the accounts and the mission field in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Thanks for Amen. that prayer. One, I think one, one or two more areas. The um, young people, men and women, who are um, taking responsibilities to uh, um, get this uh, started. I like the bishop as well to pray for them. Just commit to young people and those who will take leadership for this work. Pray for them, and then before we move on, please. Yes, the Bible says, "Those that serve me, the Lord, my Father, will honor them." We pray as men, women lay their lives and finances and time and talents. And as they lay down their giftings and graces to work for Jesus, let God use it as a springboard to answer their prayers. Let the Lord pass through these men, women who are serving him, who are technologically, physically, technically making all this possible. Let strength be sufficient. Paul said, I shall not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. None of them shall be ashamed of this mission, of this field. They will be bold like lion. They will declare. Bible said the Lord has given his word through his servant. Psalm 68 verse 11. But great was a company of them that published his word. Father, thank you. Even as your servant has given the word, let the company be great. Let the people that publish it, that disseminate this gospel, be great people. David gathered himself with 400 men, some who were indebted, some who were disgruntled, some who were discouraged. But at the end, by 1 Samuel 30, we saw that they became mighty men of David. Let this one tomorrow become mighty men. Let the testimonies of today be told in reminiscence, in retrospect, and in ecstasy. Thank you, because it will be good news. And you that declare the end from beginning, we ask you to declare it through these ones in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 One more point, and then I'm done. Yeah. Uh, that is um, with respect to the theme, um, the rise in obscurity. I like to say, since it is the first uh, day that the ministry is uh, coming to the UK, there's serious pandemic in this country. And of course, in 2002, you said zero hours will not stop the victory. I still remember that that was the year that I left uh, Nigeria. And um, 2020 was real serious zero hour when one zero just pop up in front of the Now, I'd like you to make a declaration and a proclamation over the nation in which we step our foot on as a ministry today to um, call off this pandemic and mitigate the effect. A hundred thousand people have died to stop the death, stop the spread, and stop the calamity. Thank you, Lord. Nothing you cannot do. Science has failed. Government has failed. We pray for our brethren and the beloved ones, our beloved nation, United Kingdom. We pray for Britain, pray for all the uh, conglomerates of the former Great Britain. Thank you for, from Wales to Scotland, to England, to all the surrounding states. Lord, we ask you Liverpool, you Manchester, you ask now, all of you, we speak to you, London, all the inhabitants. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. We speak, let the earth become the Lord. Let the fullness thereof become the Lord. 
we cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. You know, the Lord told me, he said, the, the church has been operating with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will continue to operate, but he has moved the church to the era of the blood of Jesus. Because the church has been Holy Ghost move, Holy Ghost move, Holy Ghost has been moving. We have forgotten our immunity in the shed blood of Calvary. We have forgotten our protection in the shed blood of Calvary. The same God who said to Moses, command them because the, the, the pillar of cloud and the Holy Spirit would lead them. But it was, it was the, uh, the moment that they put the blood on their doorposts that they were saved. We command salvation and healing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So from my own end, I am done. I think uh, back to you first too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Thank you, our daddy. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you so much for the prayers. We know that God will really intervene in our land, in Britain and in Nigeria, in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we want to call up our Bishop, who is the, you know, the bulldozer of Christian Central Chapel International, who is our General Overseer internationally of Christian Central Chapel International. So we want to invite him with a clap offering, with hallelujah, with praise the Lord, with however you want to express himself, to minister to us for a few minutes as the Lord will lead him for the next item. Praise the Lord. Let's welcome our bishop. Woo! Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, Thank you, precious people. Luke chapter 1. Uh, I want you to look at Luke chapter 1, verse 13. Luke 1, verse 1, 3. I'm going to speak on the, the forgotten prayers. Uh, my topic is the forgotten prayers. Uh, could there be anybody right here on this uh, platform or outside who has prayed about an issue and is forgotten like this guy here, Zachariah, his wife, Elizabeth, they prayed, fasted, bind and loose, and of course, they forgot about it until in verse 13, uh, uh, the angel said to him, fear not, Zachariah, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife, Elizabeth, shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. I'm speaking on the forgotten prayer. Uh, today, being the first day of our meeting, I want to prophesy that every prayer that have been abandoned, forgotten, you prayed, you fasted, you have believed God. It could be in your body, it could be in the area of your marriage, it could be in the area of your ministry, or in your office, it could be uh, whatever you are doing in your profession, and you've forgotten like Zechariah, he forgot about the prayer. Believe me, he forgot, and really, really uh, was facing other things. The Bible says he was facing about his Lord. His Lord was to burn incense, of course, it is when we forget or we prayed and fasted and bind that God himself will remember. It is when we forget and rest our mind in faith and rest our mind in hope. That's when God remember. And that's when God sent the angel to Zachariah and said, you know what? Get ready for that thing you prayed 30 years ago, 40 years ago, and you have forgotten. If you are here today, uh, this is the center of this message. If you are here today and there are prayers, and prophecies and uh, purposes and dreams and visions you have long long prayed and forgotten and you are taught that because time has passed god cannot answer again the lord said receive that miracle now in jesus name Amen. Miracle, Amen. miracle from a prayer point i don't know whom i'm talking to somebody who has prayed and prayed fasted and bind and loose and done everything and it looked like the prophecy is delayed and the prayer is uh, uh, long denied but god said like zechariah and elizabeth i will answer long forgotten prayers prayers mm. that's why sometimes you look at your life things happen and you didn't pray do you know why things happen you didn't even pray about it because you had prayed before and forgotten you had prayed before and forgotten you know what man Man prays, God answers. And when we pray, we don't leave answer, we don't see the answer. I want you to know that it's no more within your jurisdiction. 
It's no more within your power. So therefore, any prayer you pray to God and you think he's not answered, why not go and sleep, go and rest? One day, the Lord will open his diary like Esther chapter 6. The king said, what has been done to the man who has saved the king's life? Of course, and they said nothing was done. He said something must be done now. Of course, Noah was floating on the earth. And of course, the Bible said, and the Lord God remembered Noah. So if there is an area in your job place, in your life, your family, your children, your grandchildren, or your relations and spouse, which you have prayed and prayed, I want you to know that you may forget, you may be tired, but God does not forget. All prayers are answered. There are three answers to prayers. One, wait. Two, yes. Three, no. So I don't know which one you got after you prayed. It's like the green light, the traffic green light, the traffic yellow light, and the traffic uh, uh, red light. So the red light, it says no. The green light, it says yes. But sometimes we have the orange light. What does the orange say? Wait, stop. The orange does not mean you will not pass. It means you will pass, but exercise some patience. Give the Lord some moment. And that's what I'm preaching on today. That Zechariah and Elizabeth's prayer was on the amber light, was on the orange. God said, hold it. But because time was passing. And sometimes when you're on orange, you know what happened? Friends are passing. Colleagues are passing. Trailer is passing. Even bicycle is passing. Every other person on the other lane is passing. Only you. You just keep waiting like that. If it's a, a kind of light that you don't know who is operating it, God sometimes can put you on the hole. He can put you on wait. He can tell you, relax. The, the telling you to wait does not mean no. For the Bible said that wait upon the Lord, what will happen? They will renew their strength. Mm -hmm. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. As I'm preaching to you now, I am a beneficiary. My wife and I, we are beneficiaries of long-awaited, long-prayed prayer that we have prayed when we got married. Prayed, fasted, and forgot it. In fact, we thought it's over. But the Bible says in Mark 11, 22 and 23, see, you will speak to the mountain and say, mountain, be thou removed and be cast to the sea. It shall be so. But the problem is that the Bible did not tell you between the time you tell the mountain to move when the mountain will move. It can take two, two minutes. It can take one second. It can take two years. So when you speak to the mountain, the Bible says, believe in your heart. It is done and go back. Something happened in Egypt some years ago. A man went to the mountain, I'm sure you've heard the story, in the early days of missionary, and said to a mountain, because people grab him, the Muslim people grab him. They say, you believe that Jesus is Lord? Come and speak to this mountain. And those days, people were interpreting Bible physically, virtually physically. So they said, yes, the Bible says if you speak to the mountain. He did not know that the Bible was talking about the mountains of your problem. So he believed God, and they took him. They arrested him, the Muslim in Egypt. I've, I've been to the place. They said to him, okay, if God said, if you speak to the mountain, mountain shall move. Speak to the mountain. So he stood there, and in his lack of knowledge of Christianity, but by faith, he said, you mountain. As the Bible said, you move now in Jesus' name. So he left. So they gave him 24 hours that if the mountain does not move, they will come and kill him. Do you know that the authority within that jurisdiction near Alexandra had made a, a development to develop that place? The law, they have just passed a law to develop that place. And one of the ways to develop that place was to level that mountain. So they came the next morning, wow. in the wee hours of the morning, and used bulldozer and used dynamite, blow the mountain, level the place. So when the persecutors came, behold, the mountain has been leveled according to scripture. And this man was released, yeah. and, and a church was built there in his name. And they now believe, even though that was too physical, but according to his faith, he had believed that the mountain would move. So I don't know what you prayed. I don't know what you fasted. I don't know what you have believed God that came and it will look like it has stayed and stayed and God has not answered you. I came today to say in the name above every name, that prayer, long awaited, long fasted prayer has been answered. Just like Zechariah. Your, your own will not be for 20 years. Your own will not be for five years. Your own is immediately you say amen now. Mm -hmm. You receive that answer. You receive mm -hmm. that answer. Receive mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Financially. Mm -hmm. Jesus, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Shall we prepare our head of prayer? Shall we ask all hands with the wife, all hands with your colleague? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that all long awaited prayers, all delayed prophecies, all delayed prayers by this meeting today, February 7, we speak and declare it is answered. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Praise God bless you. the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much, Bishop, for that powerful word. We were so blessed, and I will believe God that every mountain in our lives will be moved with that prayer. Thank you so much. And I'm sure everyone was blessed. Were we blessed? Yes. yes. Can we shout praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Over to the next item. Gideon, are you here? I saw Gideon. I saw Gideon here. Are you still here, Gideon? Uh, okay. So, Pastor George, please, can you quickly, quickly give us the announcements before we're still waiting for Gideon? Okay. Thank you very much. For the privilege, thanks to our Father who has given us a very powerful word. Thank you, Daddy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Welcome to the Zoom meeting of CCCI UK. CCCI stands for Christian Central Chapel International. We have a vision that is paraphrased from Obadiah verse 17. Obadiah has just one chapter. Paraphrasing to holiness, power, and prosperity. And upon this tripartite uh, belief, we have come through uh, the years in this vision of CCCI. We have been established in prosperity, power, and of course, holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This meeting will continue on the 6th of March 20, on the 7th of March, 2021. So it's going to be a meeting that we shall be gathering every first Sunday of the month. And of course, next uh, month on falls on the same date like today, 7th of March, 2021, by 5 p.m. UK time. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Of course, we will also have another time to interface with our father in our international interdenominational program that is called the Morning Dew. This is aired all the way from the international headquarters that is at City of Testimonies, Ikot Enebong, eight miles, Calabar in Nigeria. Hallelujah. The program comes up every first Saturday of the month by 6 a.m. Nigerian time, that is Central African time, 6 a.m. And I believe that will be like uh, five, that will be six a.m. That will be seven. Five a.m. Five a.m. Five a.m. Five a.m. Uh, UK time. God yes. bless you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Of course, you can join us at our uh, Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash ccci.fmwc. FMWC, CCCI.FMWC, that's Faith Mansion World Center. God bless you. You can also visit our YouTube page at Dr. Emma Itzong. Thank you very much. And God bless you as we reconvene again on the 7th of March. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Pastor George, for that announcement. Uh, we're hoping you also display the account details on the chat so that everyone can see and those that would like to be in this ministry can do that. I can see Gideon has been able to join in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tend to be in a very short, very, very short intervention for the Nigerian government and the British government most especially. And then internationally, because I can see we have Auntie Vivian from Canada, we have Auntie Janet from France, and we have most people here from United Kingdom, I could also see earlier on uh, from Germany. Wow. So you could lead us also in those prayers for the globe at large. 
Please, Gideon, a welcome. Lead us in those prayers. Hallelujah. Please, could you relocate your network? Your network is not. Uh, could you relocate a bit to where we could get to hear you very well, clearly? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know if Gideon is still connected. Gideon? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Pastor Boma, please, could you lead us in... Prayers as we are led because <laughs> forgive me for this impromptu. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, the Bible encourages us to be ready at any time. Be ready at so we thank God for a beautiful day like this. And we magnify his name because things he will do in Jesus' name. Amen. At, at this time, I just want to pray concerning each and every one of us. When the bishop, please, can we just mute our phone? Thank you. When the bishop was uh, praying, he said, we are all ministers in diaspora. So wherever we are, as soldiers of the cross, we are witnesses. So my prayer will be that God will help us. Even in this last time, in this last, uh, you know, uh, 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 um, last uh, time of, you know, this, age that we are in, the Lord will help us to be witnesses. That's what we are, we are called to do. Let us pray. Father, we just want to thank and bless you, God, even for the opportunity of being called by your name. Father, we thank you because you have given us a job, but we are so happy because you haven't left us all by ourselves. We thank you because you said you will be with us even till the end of the ages. Hey, Father, Lord, even as witnesses, we thank you because you have given us the Holy Spirit to help us. God, we pray that your grace upon our lives will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Father, we pray, Lord, that we will be representatives of the Lord and us indeed for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Our Lord and our King, we thank you because you have given us all it takes. Wherever we find ourselves, oh God, that is our platform. Father, we pray, oh God, that you cause us to use every opportunity you have given to us to minister to people around about us, to use mm. our lifestyles to minister to people around us. Mm. Lord, we thank you because you shall confirm even your words through us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we just want to thank and bless you. Thank for you. we know you have heard for our prayers be thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Oh, I'm just so excited. I want to thank every one of us for coming, both from UK, Nigeria, internationally. I'm, I'm mesmerized. Uh, Bishop, I'm sure is so excited to see us all. Partnership in Christ is awesome. Without you, I don't think this meeting would have been possible. And that's why we look forward to having you next time with us. Please, it's uh, also non-denominational, so you don't need to be a member of Christian Central Chapel International to attend. Please, you're most welcome anytime you want to attend. I saw Dr. Iboro Udo, my personal auntie. I know you've muted uh, your video, but I'm seeing you. Thank you for coming, every one of us. Uh, Mrs. Esther, I see you. I see you. Uh, Sister Grace Equot, I see you. Uh, Ephraim, I see you. Charles Equot, I see every one of us. Uh, thank you, Elder Isong Equot. Thank you, uh, Bishop. God bless us all. And I want to bring us to a close. Bye bye. And I know God will be with us throughout this season in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye bye. 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 Bye, bye, bye. Love you all. Bye. God bless you. Bye. bye.